Hi, I'm Tori. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a project from a lead using the lead wizard. I will also show you how to archive a project, aka close it, all in Sage Construction Management. I'm starting on the home page here, and we're going to go over to projects. Here, we're going to go into the active projects, click the action button, and add project from lead. Here, you're able to choose the lead that you would like to convert to a project. You're able to change the project name and project title. And you can also edit the project description, then specify contacts for the project if you would like to. You're going to click next. Here, you're going to select the type of records that you would like to transfer from the lead to the project. You can leave all of them selected or uncheck whatever you don't want to transfer. You're going to click next. Here, you're able to update the lead stage. So you can archive this lead and it will close it. Then you can also update the lead stage by choosing the stage level here if it was awarded. Here is the date and the estimated close date, the amount, and this will allow you to create a prime contract. Then you're going to click next. Here, we are going to be setting up the prime contract because I selected to use the prime contract. So we can either choose from an existing prime contract that is already in there or create a new one. Same thing with new customer or existing customer. The customers and contacts that are attached to this lead will come up. Here, you're able to use the Sage CM estimate. It's recommended if an estimate does not exist. You can import the file from Microsoft Excel, create from Sage CM sample, JCC templates, or cost codes from master cost code list in settings. This is almost the exact same as my previous video where I showed you how to create a project manually. This is about step nine and above. So I am going to use the Sage CM estimate. Click next. I'm going to put in the prime contract information. It's going to automatically generate a prime contract number. You are able to change that. You can select if this prime contract is a draft, pending submission. These, this drop-down menu can all be changed in the feature settings. So archiving a project is basically the same as closing it. We're going to go to projects again. So here, we are going to select the project that is needing to be closed. You're going to click Edit. Then you would select this archived box right here. And save and close. So that project now will be automatically archived. As you can see, it's right back in here. You can also archive projects by clicking this hyperlink. Now remember that you need to be in list and go to your columns, select archive. So you are able to select whichever ones that you will be placing in the archives. and your change will be automatically saved. As you can see, now there are three inactive projects. And so that's how you take a lead and transfer it to a project through the lead to project wizard and archive and unarchive projects.